Right guys, so as you can see, it's freezing cold. I've just broke the ice, put a little bit of bait in and I'm leaving that line to settle. So I thought while I'm doing that, I'll give you a run through what carry all I use. The reason being, obviously I did the one about what box I use and what was in my box and it seemed to go down really well. And on top of that, people were asking, seeing as I don't carry a lot in my box, seeing as I only have one draw because I've got small legs, what I actually do carry. So this is an insight to what I actually carry and what carry all I use. So this isn't actually a carry-all, it's a, late, um, a large bait bag, sorry. And the reason being, it's big enough, everything that I need. And I think the bigger the carry-all, the more you carry, the heavier it is. So this fits everything in that I need. Large, superior bait bag. And as you can see, it actually has uh, insulation on the inside. Not that it's any use to me, but if you wanted to use it for bait, it is. So inside, tip it up. It, just a, a little feature of this that I like as well, it has got a hard bottom so it doesn't matter if you're pulling it round on ground, it's not going to tear and keeps everything in place. So in here I have got a array of things, starting with a catapult bag. In here I have all my catapults, different sizes, different strengths for different occasions, so that's one thing. So sometimes you'll probably notice that I actually use the, the top kit roost, but if the bank's really uneven or you can't get it in, I also have one of these. So this is a, another top kit roost and I can just move that around. Sometimes it's good on canal if you've got bushes either side or when you're sat in the actual canal and you can't get a top kit roost in, I like to use one of them. These are all my silverfish hooks for canals. And rivers so these are actually all barbed hooks take them off they stay with me in there what else have i got in here some eva balls so i like to carry the the five liters and the three liters and obviously don't go anywhere without a couple of towels as well this little beauty so this sits on my side tray when I'm doing any canal or river fishing. This is my feeder hook length box. So I've got a, an array of feeders in here. I have my wires in one side, my window feeders in another, and then all my pre-tied hook lengths. Don't know if you can see them. That's all set up nicely. And then just some, these are actually pellet waggler stops, which are, I use to attach the feeder to fish it like a helicopter style. So they all stay neatly in there. Cups. So you probably think, why have I got more cups? I like to use them as measures. So when I'm fishing, mainly like I say, the canals and rivers, I actually measure my bait out. And this is just a, a little sieve, but I drain my worms. So now we chop my worms and all the juices sometimes alter your context of your ground bait. So I like to sit them in there, drain the juices off. So you've just got the neat worm rather than all the juices as well so that's what that is what else have we got bait tubs I like to carry quite a few bait tubs with me different sizes like the little one pint ones for like my hook hemp and any hook baits and then i have a few different sizes there as well i've got some pre-tied banded hook lengths for when i go do a bit of cart fishing they live in there I've got a few GPMs and also some method hook lengths as well. So I carry quite a lot of hooks with me, but I don't want to ever think, oh, I should have had them. They're just staying here. They don't weigh a lot. And then I've got some of these little superior cubes, I like to call them. <laughs> little bait boxes in this one's got all my method feeders for commercials. This one has all my toss pots in it, cad pots, it's full of all them, different sizes, they fit in there quite nice. And then this one has my ICM feeders in it, as well as a few random bits like bristle grease, paint, a bit more bristle grease, and my little ICM, cute them out, the little ICM feeders. So that is what lives in the main part, in the sides. This side I have 
a water bucket so when I'm on the canals chuck that in the edge save leaning over and potentially falling in that lives in there bit of slip lubricant and then just a couple of bait tub lids not really much else in there plastic bag put that back in there this side I have bread punch box with my bread punches in and also a meat punch box I don't really fish much meat though it's a bit too greasy for me but that's also handy for that I also have a pair of sunglasses Polaroids look a bit cool in these look at them <laughs> good for when you're dobbing in summer I like to keep a pair in there at all times And then I have a little bag of expanders. It's a really bit random is that, but I don't ever want to go to a match and think I forgot my expanders and not be able to have any. So, and that's, that's it in that side. And then the front, this is full of a road of random stuff as well. A pair of gloves. Um, therefore, obviously I've used them today. I've been breaking ice. Keeps your hands nice and dry. And warm. Got some pellet wagglers, some normal wagglers, different array sizes, and for them, I also have some different tips. So if tip ever, if I ever lose it, or if I want to change over, I have some tips. I have some random bits of elastic. So these are for actually to tie my keep net down. So sometimes if you're fishing really close in between your nets, you want your keep net in tight. So this just loops around the bottom and I put it onto the, the legs and it just stops them moving around. Don't always use it, but it's there just in case. I have a bung. So when, as you can see, it's got loads of, I don't know if you can see, it's got loads of like holes and things. That's for when it's going through roughage. If you're throwing it through trees, I like to put that on or into mud just keeps ND pole a bit safer so that's what that's there for I'd uh they called this a siffle a scythe something like that um cutting reeds so it's quite sharp actually but it's nice if you've got a lot of reed just put it in lilies under water put it on your landing handle and you just pull and it cuts them moves them out of waste stops you getting tangled I have a tub of hard pellets in here we have a banding tool that's staying there, just a couple of oiled up pellets. That's what I use as hook baits when I'm fishing shallow or on the feeder. I have some a mixed pot of I think there's wafters and pop-ups and all sorts of little baggies of goodies in there. Lots of different flavours. They stay in there just because they don't go off. They're always in there in case you're ever just needing that one bite. Just chuck it out and hope for best. Have a, a bait up feeder, just in case I ever need one. I have a couple of different bait droppers, different size bait droppers. Rod roosts, holding my rod. I have a little box of bits, so it's got like, I don't know, random bits in here to be fair swivels, bait bands, fake maggots and corn. It's, been, it's one of them things that lives in your bag that you probably never use. A bit more of elastic. Chop worm scissors. Some cable ties for your worms. And then these. So I've got caught out without these ones. And obviously when you go to fisheries where you've got to use their keep nets, because I use a keep net bar for the, one of the Preston ones and all these are on my nets at home. When I got there, <laughs> I couldn't put my nets on anywhere. I had to just loop them over um, the legs. So now I carry three of these. So it just goes onto the fishery keep nets and then they can sit on my keep net arm, no problem. And apart from that, oh, one last little thing, just a, a bread punch. I didn't even know that were in there, to be fair. And that is what lives in my bag now you've got an insight hope um, you enjoy it 
simple as it is. Thanks for watching. See you later, guys.